Hi, my name is Carol McLeod, and this video will show you how to construct the body of the Big Sebago Tote. The Big Sebago Tote is a pattern by Auntie's Two Patterns, and the Big Sebago Tote uses Inner Form Plus, a double-sided, fusible, foam-based batting. You will use one package 36 inches by 58 inches. You'll start by cutting two body pieces. Now these pieces are one quarter of the size that you need for the pattern, but for the purposes of this video, uh, we felt that they would fit in the video a little bit better. So these are going to be much bigger pieces. You'll cut two pieces, one for the front and one for the back, and fuse fabric to both sides. And you'll fuse a different fabric. This is fabric B, and it will show at the top of the bag. This is fabric A, and it will show, uh, it will be the pockets, the outside pockets, and you'll also see it on the inside of the bag. So that's going to be your dominant fabric. You can also do these pockets as an option out of other colors, and I'll show that to you a little bit later. But for purposes of this video, we'll keep the pockets the same color initially. <laughs> so you'll uh, cut your pieces, fuse your fabric on, and then you'll add your pockets based on the instructions. Now you're going to add the pockets to the fabric A side only. So follow the instructions in the uh, pattern to sew your pockets on. Now these pockets will be bound on each end and you'll also sew some seams across the bottom to delineate the bottom of your pocket because you don't want your whatever you put in your pocket to slide underneath the bag. So you'll sew some seams across there. Once you've sewn your pockets onto the uh, two pieces, again, you're going to have a front and a back, and you'll sew these pockets onto each of those two pieces. You'll then sew sashing, but you're only going to sew sashing to one piece. You'll sew a one and one eighth inch strip to the fabric A side, and at the same time, you're going to sew a one and three quarter inch strip that has been folded in half, right sides out, and ironed. Match all raw edges and sew down that sashing with a quarter of an inch seam. So again, one and one eighth inch strip on top, a one and three quarter inch strip that has been folded in half and ironed, that will go on the fabric B side. So pin those on and stitch down with a quarter of an inch seam. So you'll sew those sashings to both sides of one piece. Once that's done, your piece will look like this. Lay that piece with the sashing on top of the second piece, pockets matching. Take the other side of the one and one eighth inch strip and fold that out so the raw edges match this second piece. Sew down here with a quarter of an inch seam, like I have on the other side. Can you see that? That finishes the front. So that's a finished seam. Or that finishes the pocket side, the fabric A side. On the fabric B side, fold this folded edge over and stitch very, very, very closely to that folded edge to finish it. 
Now you can hand stitch that or you can machine stitch that. In the next progress piece I'll show you which, what each looks like. So finish that, then we need to do the other side. So what you'll do, again, take your one and one eighth inch strip, pull that out, and sew it down here with a quarter of an inch seam. Now I'm going to pretend that we've sewn this using a couple of pins. This next step is probably one of the hardest steps and what I find is I like to hand sew this next step because it is a little bit hard to get through your machine. So you're going to, this is the last side seam, Fold this strip over to finish that seam. Now you can stitch down that uh, if you can man manhandle it through your sewing machine. Uh, you can stitch very close to that edge or you can hand sew that. I prefer hand sewing because I think it looks neater. Uh, but you can do either. So I'll show you what these, those two look like. So this is the hand sewn edge. And this is the machine sewn edge. Whichever you decide to do, when you're finished, you're going to in essence have a tube. Bind each end of that tube. And then you're going to stitch a seam across the bag. Now notice how this seam is not exactly in the center. It's off-centered a little bit. So follow your pattern instructions. To position that seam, you'll draw a line across here and the pattern instructions will tell you where to draw that line. And then sew on that once and twice. Then you'll take the shorter end and you'll wrap it up around the longer end. So you have to, again, manhandle this a little bit to do that. And poke your corners out like that. So you start to see the bag tape take shape. Then, the next step will be to square off the corners of your bag. So you're actually going to turn the bag inside out and stitch across the seam from the inside. That squares off the bottom of the bag. Do both sides. Follow the instructions. And so you start to see your bag take a little bit more shape. Then according to the instructions in the pattern, you'll make, you'll sew your handles all the way up to the top and make little tabs for you to put your handles through. Once you finish that, you'll put your buttons on and you're all done. Good luck!